Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone taking the time to watch this video. My name is Nick. I am one of the architects working on the advanced security team. Now, over the next three to four minutes, I would love to give you a really high level overview of what GitHub's code scanning is in context of advanced security. So again, considering we don't have long, I really want to get jump and uh, get straight into it. So firstly, what is code scanning? Now, think of code scanning as the experience that GitHub provides you around fixing static analysis vulnerabilities and alerts. Again, a lot of focus is on the tools that you use, but what often goes missed is the experience that these tools create, enabling and allowing your developers to actually fix the vulnerabilities that these tools provide. And code scanning is that experience around fixing these alerts and fixing these vulnerabilities. The first real big shout out to code scanning is it is completely language and completely tool agnostic. As long as your tool supports Sarif, which is an industry standard in the security world, you can output data and upload it into code scanning. So for example, you're able to run ESLint, you're able to run CoQL, you're able to run a container scanning tool, an infrastructure as code scanning tool. And most of these tools nowadays will output their data in Sarif. You can take the output and upload it into code scanning, enabling your developers to have a consistent experience when actually seeing data from these tools, which makes it easy for them to remediate. Additionally, it, it, it also allows you to decentralize your tool chain. We aren't locking you in to using every tool that GitHub provides. Your developers are able to use the tools that they want to use and you as an enterprise are able to use the tools that you want to use. Still run all of them within your CI, whether that's Actions, Jenkins, ADO, and you can take all of that data from them tools and upload them into code scanning so your developers get that single experience. And more information about this can be found on this docs website here within code security and within code scanning. But let me get straight into it and show you how code scanning looks. And I'll start with the pull request experience. So again, let's say that you have someone that raises a pull, a pull request. You're really easily able to see if they have it or not because you, uh, you're, you're able to see the status checks that come alongside it at the bottom. So with code scanning, you get inbuilt status checks in your pull request to say what has been run. And then also you can see the results. So as you can see, ESLint, no new results have been introduced, but here CoQL has actually failed. So you can see the status checks at the bottom and you can even get inline annotations in your pull requests. So as you can see here on line 65, code scanning is telling me that CoQL has found a possible query built from a user controlled source. And again, you're able to dive into that and go to the specific code scan and alert where you can find out what more information about the vulnerability. You can see recommendations, language specific examples to actually upskill the developer, not only on what the vulnerability is, but actually how to fix them, which is really what developers want to see. You even get a timeline view at the bottom that tells you where this vulnerability has been and who has interacted with it and you're easily able to come in here and if things are false positives if if things are using tests or you won't fix them you can easily dismiss you can even link code scanning alerts to issues where you're able to assign and have conversations about various code scanning alerts so that pull request experience is native and you get that for free within code scanning so that nice experience and again you're able to go in and see the out of pull request experience by clicking on the security tab and diving into the code scanning alerts section where you're able to go ahead and, pro and filter by tool you can filter by the rule if you're using coql you can even filter by severity so here there's 227 alerts that's quite a lot for, the, for one person to fix let me just quickly prioritize let me filter by security first, CoQL, and let me filter by criticality. So here it's really easy for me to actually see 
my three most critical alerts for me to go ahead and actually fix. And again, one thing to really reinforce is code scanning is not just tied to code QL. You're able to use any tool within the marketplace and you can see a few of them actually here on my screen. Again, that was a really quick, really high level demo just to whet your appetite. Please feel free to find out more information on our website.